Hi y'all. Welcome to my channel. Dang, Mushri, I'm on my way to the garage because my father gonna put my pole up. If I can figure out a space that don't take up his space, then I can put my pole in the garage. So I wanted it in my room, but I don't have enough space. <clears throat> so. I don't really like the garage like that. Especially in the summertime, y'all, cause, ooh, y'all is not gonna see me in here. It's about to get real, it's about to get, okay. Uh, ain't no light in here. <laughs> but it's, it's the space, y'all. But look, let me come in real quick and talk to y'all before I turn, cause I got my duties measurements and I can't do this while I'm talking to y'all. So, I recorded this video on my other phone five times. It did not, it was not giving what it's supposed to give. So, bling. My phone okay. <clears throat> so, I want to come on here and tell y'all how I'm at a spiritual burnout right now. Like, I guess that's the best way to say it after I didn't listen to myself say it over and over and over again. I'm at spiritual burnout because I just, I'm at a point where I'm starting not to believe in this spiritual shit. And the only, the only reason I've been hanging on y'all because I have, I swear on everything I love, I've seen shit that you can't explain that is, you just can't explain it. So that's the only thing that keep me in that realm is the shit that I've seen. Because if I didn't see this shit with my own two fucking eyes, y'all, no exaggerations, no high, no none of that, I would not be still doing this shit because this shit is just like religion. They want you to believe in some imaginary forces that's supposed to be doing things on your behalf or other people's behalf that you don't see. And I really strongly, really used to believe in that. But all this shit that has happened to me and all the work that I've been doing these past six years and I'm still dealing with shit. I'm still dealing with shit that I've been dealing with 25 years ago. I still can't even, without medicine, be able to lay my ass down because of the trauma I went through as a child. I, and all this shit that I ain't, I ain't I supposedly be signed up for that shit, but that shit don't make no sense to me that I was signed up to come through toxic sperm and pussy just so I can reach some type of enlightenment. I'm supposed to not get nurtured, get abandoned, have all this shit happen to me as a child to the point where it's though now as an adult, I can't even sleep regularly. Like I can't even sleep regularly without assistance. And then after over some time of me um, taking the same medicine, then my body get used to it and then it's done, that's a wreck. So the longest amount of time I'm able to fucking sleep is three to four hours a day. Well, I'll say four to five, four and a half to five. Um, but if I'm unmedicated, sometimes I can stay up for days. I, I've had it actually, I've stayed up for 72 hours and I had medicine in my system and I still was able to stay up. So <clears throat> this ain't no succubus, incubus energy. This is some shit I was dealing with since before I was even having sex. So this is some childhood shit. Something happened that I don't remember. Something I don't know, but I have not been able to sleep for as long as I can remember. So far, it's been 25 years that I've been calculating this time that I have not really been able to sleep unmedicated. Because my soul signed up for it. My soul signed up to come through a toxic-ass family, toxic-ass people, being in toxic as people, places, and things so that I can reach some form of enlightenment that don't even make no sense. That don't even make sense. And we supposed to be chosen. So chosen people supposed to go get drugged through the most to get some enlightenment. Well, I feel like I feel like the people who don't have to get drugged through the mud is the ones who reach enlightenment. The ones who parents nurtured them when they was kids, who was able to let them be kids, and they didn't have responsibility of taking care of their siblings and all that whole extra ass shit that caused trauma to the older sibling. Ain't had to go through none of that. They able to cultivate their gifts, these so-called gifts we come into the realm with can get cultivated at a younger age when parents know and realize and nurture their fucking children, which I did not receive. So now I gotta be uh, in my 30s, nurturing myself, caring for myself, doing, taking care of myself, self-care, all this shit. 
Because I signed up for it. So you mean to tell me my soul signed up for all of this shit? That I'm supposed to do all of this shit. I'm so I'm I'm I am more eternally at turmoil over the fact that I chose this life. Who would really who would really choose this? When you choose to be born to parents who can nurture you and love you and nurture your gifts so that you can help other people. It's so many young people I see who parents nurture them and they pianists, violinists, gym gymnasts, athletes, artists of pick a pick a field and artists of any kind. Because you had parents who nurtured you. Because you didn't come from trauma and abuse and abandonment and rape. So now I feel like it's going to take me the rest of my life to fucking heal myself from shit that I didn't even cause. I could see if I was, if this some shit I caused. This some shit I didn't even have nothing to do with. I was born into this shit. So that's why the little joys I get, they like, it's 24 hours, y'all. Y'all see me on these shits with my shit. I don't, I can't enjoy shit because I already know it's going to be another test around the corner. I'm going to keep getting tested on a constant basis until I die. As an empath and a highly sensitive person, then I still got to come here and deal with people's shit and people take advantage of me no matter what I do, no matter how I say it. I still got to get taken advantage of, ran over top of, all of this shit. Because that, because 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 the, the generational karma from my parents. Then on top of that, then on top of that, then on top of that, I gotta deal with the trauma from past lives, from generational shit. I had nothing to do with, and some I had something to do with. Because you keep incarnating to deal with your trauma and bullshit from other lifetimes. So that's why we keep coming here. Year after year, thousands of lifetimes, millions of lifetimes, and I know I'm coming back because I'm over this shit. All I want to do is survive and take care of my kids. I don't have, I don't, I don't have the effort to put in to be fixing generational nothing when I can't even get no fucking rest. I didn't did rituals and all types of stuff for me to get the sleep, the normal. And even when I'm unmedicated, it's worse because I only get two to three hours of sleep every night and still got to function as a mom, as a student, as a worker. This is what. Every time I get lack of sleep, y'all, I swear to God, I be sitting up. It be 3, 55, 4, 55, 2, 55. And I really be trying not to zap out because as soon as I start zapping out, that's 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 when my energy just, I can't even go back to sleep. But it, even when I don't zap, if I had, by the time I'm tired enough to go back to sleep, it's time for me to get up and start my day. So a lot of the times I'm cranky. I got to suck it up because I got to be around people. But I be cranky as shit on the inside sometimes, y'all. For real, I be cranky. <sighs> y'all don't even understand. Like, if y'all, people who suffer from insomnia, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a never-ending cycle. This is a death sentence. Because how was you able to go through life when you always tired? And I know I just made a video about the incubus succubus thing. This ain't this because this is something that's been happening since before I even started having sex. So what is this energy? Why? Why is it happening to me and several other people like me? I don't feel chosen. I don't feel special. This is not special. I don't even want the gifts. They can take the fucking gifts, give it to somebody that's going to use it. Because I ain't going to use it. I'm not about to use my gifts to do nothing but what I feel like doing. I'm not doing nothing outside of what I feel like doing. I'm not. I done sat there at 3 o'clock in the morning, lighting candles, putting crystals all over my body, doing meditation, doing generational karma, doing this shit. Repeat, 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 repeat. When the fuck is my break? When the fuck is my break? When can I get a break so I can go to sleep? Every day, all I'm chasing sleep. It's like, the, <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen that South Park episode. Um, it was a video game, and it was Guitar Hero based. And one of the other games, he stand tried. It was uh, um, Eddie chasing, <laughs> he was chasing that needle. Yo, that's how I feel. I'm constantly chasing that dragon. I'm constantly chasing sleep. All the time. Whenever I get free time, all I want to do is sleep. I don't want to do no ritual work. I don't want to talk to no ancestors. As a matter of fact, all I want to do is cuss out whoever is listening, if it's even real. Because now I'm at the point that I don't even know if any of this shit real besides what the fuck I've seen. 
and I'm tired and I'm frustrated and I'm over this shit. All I want to do is take care of my kids and, and do what I'm supposed to do until I'm gone. I don't want to do nothing else. I don't want to heal no more generational shit. I don't want to do no, no more of that. I don't want to do no more of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Everybody around me is just going about life and doing them, and they don't have to do this shit. They're not worrying about this shit. They don't care about this shit. But me, I'm supposed to care. After my whole life has been fucked up by generational karma and, and, and this generation and this life karma that I had nothing to do with. Things I had to do with, I understand. Even the people I attract is karmic because of my parents. When, so I ain't getting no break. If all I'm going to do is get beat up by the fucking universe and the ancestors and whoever, I don't get no break, then what is the point? I might as well continue to get beat up when I don't get no breaks. In my sleep, I even get bothered. That's why I don't even stay asleep. Because even in my sleep, I'm getting attacked. I'm constantly under attack. No matter how many crystals I put on, no matter what ancestor I pray to, no matter what deity I talk to, no matter what ritual I do, no matter none of that shit, I still get attacked. So tell me what's the point.